<clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It's fantastic to have you here. Hope you enjoyed that uh, little uh, intro of me cutting the grass there. It's just one of those chores that needs doing uh, pretty much all the time. Although it's very dry at the minute, not much needed cutting where it was shady under those pots and things. There were some big long tufts, so whip them off. Uh, made the place a little bit tidier and I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'm on my own again today and we're going to be doing hopefully a nice little project in just uh, an hour or so because I've not got that long, it's quite late in the day. Um, I had other commitments this morning. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, crack on and I've got a, hopefully a little uh, exciting project to show you this uh, today. As some of you know, I'm a member of my local scouting movement. Um, my unit went to sc uh, summer camp this year um, uh, three or so weeks ago now. Um, had a fantastic time. Uh, we're really lucky to be able to go to the site that we went to um, because we're allowed to do uh, the more traditional scouty stuff like fire lighting and um, forestry, um, bushcraft, that kind of thing that in a lot of other campsites now, unfortunately, you're not allowed to, not allowed to do anymore. Um, so yes, had a fantastic time. And before I went, I said to myself, I want to do a proper little bushcraft project and try and make myself a chair out of hazel. So on camp, I went into the woods, collected myself a lot of uh, green hazel, um, shaped it up into the lengths that I needed, um, and built myself a chair using a uh, string to lash the sticks together uh, and make it nice and strong. Uh, there should be a picture of it uh, somewhere over my mug now so that you can see what it looked like then. Um, and yeah, it was, it was really good. Unfortunately, the only string I had though was uh, plasticky rubbish stuff, so um, it came, it, the lashings kept slipping and the whole thing came loose. So I think about halfway through the camp of uh, seven days, I took it to bits and bundled all the sticks up so that I could then take it home, uh, which I did in the car, and it's currently, the stack is just sat just be behind you there. So um, what we're going to do now is put it together using screws instead of string so that hopefully then it can be a permanent chair. One of my leaders did find out about my plans to screw it together and suggested that um, sort of twine, more natural string, uh, lashing it together and then sealed with some sort of resin or glue um, would be more traditional and look nicer. And I do agree, um, but the thing is, time is ticking on in the summer holidays. There's lots I've got left to do. Um, and I really don't think I've got time uh, to spend doing that um, on this particular chair. So for this chair, to be able to show you guys, I'm going to screw it together, and then in future, hopefully we'll be able to go and get some more hazel, make another chair, maybe a better designed one, and hold that together with uh, string and glue or resin or whatever, uh, and make it look proper nice. Without further ado then, I'll invite you to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. Uh, if you're new here, hit subscribe because we're really close to 100 now. Uh, bell notifications, all of that fun stuff. Like, share the video. Um, let's get on and make this chair. Right, this is all the hazel sticks. Um, they, I labelled them all very well so when I took it to pieces so that I knew exactly where they all went when I came to put it back together. Um, would be the ideal thing that I would have done. Of course, I didn't think that far ahead when I took it to part, and I just took it to part. So I now have essentially a very confusing jigsaw puzzle in which all of the pieces look very, very similar indeed. However, because of those pictures that I took of the chair when it was together, I think I am going to be able to work out um, which ones go where, and as long as they're the right length, it doesn't really matter. So once I've had a look at the pictures, because I'll have to look at my phone and uh, stop recording for that, of course, um, I'll figure out what sticks I need for which pieces, and then it's going to be a simple case of drilling through uh, each of the sticks, um, and then using screws to just go straight through with the impact driver, should be nice and quick, um, and fix everything together. Right, I think I've worked out which ones made the main sitting uh, like platform. Um, I say think, I definitely mean think. I've been sat here for a good probably 15 minutes trying to work out which sticks go where but I think I've got it right, and I can always, I suppose, take the screws back out. That's the beauty of using screws, right, is I can endlessly uh, take them out and put them back in again. So I think uh, we'll drill this, put it together, and see how it goes, and then if, if we uh, find that other, some of the other sticks aren't matching up, then we'll know we've gone wrong somewhere.
I've put the base of it together as I said, um, and I've worked out I think what the, I know these are the back two legs and they make the backrest as well, I think these two are the front two legs, so I'm gonna, I think the best way for me to film it is probably just talk you through as I do it because, or maybe not talk even, but just to put you on a wide angle um, and, and just do it because it, it's probably going to take quite a bit of faffing about. Um, so yeah. Got a rub mark there, so that can go on there. Um. Right, I'm going to drill the seat, not the legs, because if I do that and I can have the screw in from this direction, hopefully, and then I can keep taking it out and moving the height if I need to. Whereas if I go from that side every time I wanted to adjust it, I'd have to drill a new hole in that. So let's do that with it. Yeah, let's do that. And I'll do it at an angle so that I can get the driver in there and put the screw in without worrying about getting rid of these bars getting in the way. Okay, I, um, I've worked out that those two are for the back, back uh, cross supports, and that, that one on the back there is to go along the top, across there like that. Um, everything else I thought might be in like pairs or maybe two, you know, twos, maybe fours of equal lengths and for different uh, jobs as cross braces, but they're all <laughs> none the same length. So um, what I think I'm going to do is I'll put you on the time lapse because I've got a, a fairly good idea of where everything needs to go in my head. Um, obviously, I won't be able, once I put you on the time lapse, I won't be able to look at the picture again. So um, I could probably look at you, couldn't I? Um, I won't be able to look at the picture when the time lapse is on. So I've got a rough idea. So I'll stick that on and you can watch me uh, putting the rest of it together and probably doing quite a lot of chopping and changing about. <laughs> Take my weight fine. Much better now. So much more stable than it was on camp. So much more. Well, it doesn't. It was really quite rickety on um, just held together with string. But this is actually solid now. It sits nice and flat. You can. It was. Um, it was almost a hunched forward sort of chair um, when I had it done with string. Whereas now um, I've done the backrest a bit so you can lean back in it more. That's actually really quite comfy now, um, whereas before it sort of like moved and you had to sit and hold your weight in a certain way so that the thing didn't fall over, but now, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Use the headrest a bit more, I suppose I could always extend the back, but for now, yeah, that's good. No idea where I'm going to store it, mind you. <laughs> I'm going to wear it at home or here. Might give it away, who knows? Anybody want it? We shall see. Let me know in the comments if you want me to give it away. I don't particularly mind, especially as I'm going to be making another one, hopefully, out of, um, you know, proper rope and sealed, sealed rope. Yeah. Hope you that little project. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, I'm only going to pack away now, so, yeah, like and subscribe. Uh, see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed.